The third step of the forehand progressions is to shadow the motion from the ready position and then actually try and hit the tennis ball from the ready position. So starting in the ready position, I'm shadowing right now. What I'm going to do is pivot with my outside foot, turn my shoulders. That's how the tennis racket starts to come back. And when I take the tennis racket back, it goes straight back to the racket back position we talked about in the previous video. I've got virtually no loop right now, and that's what you want. You don't want the loop, just racket comes straight back into this body position I'm in right now. My body is entirely sideways. And if we watch it from the ready position again, the pivot and the shoulder turn initiate the body turn, and then I just get myself sideways as fast as possible. Now, this body position I'm in now is the exact same body position I was in in the previous video. And from here, the mechanics of the swing are the same. We've already talked about them. I rotate forward, rotate towards the net, back heel comes up, and then I extend out and catch the tennis racket with my other hand when I follow through. When you've mastered the shadowing, then you can try and hit the tennis ball. And starting in the ready position, just like when I was shadowing, the pivot and the shoulder turn initiate the motion. I take the tennis racket straight back, no loop, and then to hit the tennis ball, I'm just going to rotate back towards the net. My back heel comes up, I hit the ball, and then I follow through and catch the tennis racket with my other hand. It's a really, really, really simple motion. Let's watch it again. Pivot with the outside foot, turn the shoulders, racket straight back, and then I swing forward and follow through. And this entire time, the relationship between my tennis racket and my hitting arm remains virtually the same. Let's watch the motion from the back perspective and see what it looks like from this angle. Pivot with the outside foot, turn the shoulders, racket pointed straight back at the camera for the most part. Again, there's no loop. And then I rotate towards the net, back heel comes up, and I follow through and catch the tennis racket with my other hand. And again, I'm not really trying to hit the ball too hard. I'm just trying to really work the technique, do everything slowly, and make sure I get all the fundamentals down. 